So from the theoretical magnification, what should the theoretical magnification be? The theoretical magnification is going to be um, a negative di over do, right? And the negative is already in the equation. So if the di is negative, that means it's a virtual image. You put negative, 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 negative 12. DO is equal to uh, 30. So according to that, what should the magnification be? So 12 over 30. And then that's going to be, uh, what, uh, four go, uh, 3 goes into there 4 times, 3 goes into there 10. Point four. So that means according to theory, the, based on that image distance and based on that object distance, the image should be 40% of the size of the original object, right? So if that is the case, what should its height be over height of the object? And since this is 0.4, height of the image, the original object is uh, 6 centimeter, 0.4. The height of the image equals 6 times 0.4, 2.4 centimeter. That one didn't come out exactly the same as my drawing, but that's fine. I'm, I'm, my drawing is not meant to be perfect, perfect. Particularly with a marker, it's a little bit harder to make the, the image uh, perfect. So it, this was supposed to be a little bit smaller, okay? Uh, so if you do it fine, particularly with a fine uh, lead pencil, you should be even more accurate. So my image height is 2.4 based on the theory, based on the drawing, three centimeters. And now they pretty much match. So my conclusion image is upright, virtual, and it is also diminished. Now, what would happen if this problem had said something like this? An object of height six centimeters standing 30 centimeters in front of a converging lens. Converging lens of focal length positive 5. Okay, let's do the uh, diagrams for that. Okay, so here I have the drawing again. What's the focal length of this going to be? Well, since the diameter is positive 5, it's going to be the same, but just positive. F is going to be positive 20 centimeters. So where is the primary focal point of this going to be? The primary is on the right side, right? So uh, go 20 to the right, and then 20 to the left, 10, 20. That's the secondary, right? So primary focal point here, and then this one is secondary focal point. And then where's the object? Here, six centimeters up again. Okay, so how do we do the ray diagrams for this one? Okay, for this one, you draw a straight ray, and this time instead of uh, diverging outward, it diverges inward and it goes through the primary focal point. Whereas the other one diverged outward, it looked like it was coming from the uh, primary focal point here, right? So it goes here. Over here, it uh, diverges a little bit inward. From there, another one, it diverges outward, and it's gonna appear as if it's coming from, uh, it's gonna appear as it's going, and it's gonna actually go through the uh, primary focal point. So, okay. So go like that. Now, how about the other one? Second ray, we're gonna do a, 
a ray that actually goes through the secondary focal point, right? Goes through the secondary, will bend straight. The other one was a ray headed towards the secondary, what went straight. Here it's actually going to go through. So, like this. Of course, it looks like it's not even going to meet the lens, but that's fine. As 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 soon as uh, as soon as you intersect the line given by the lens, you can kind of make a straight from there, make a straight ray. Okay, uh, it goes like this. Okay. <clears throat> now, there is also a third one that they usually use with converging lenses, and the way that they word it is this. A ray that is headed towards the center of the lens will more or less come out in a straight line uh, from its original direction. So generally speaking, it's going to go something like this. It's going to be a ray that's headed from here going through the heart of the lens, and it's going to end up over there. So it's, uh, it's, it looks like this. This one goes like this, headed towards the center. Then it bends uh, inward. Okay. Then from there, it goes through those points. It bends outward. Now, it should also go through the intersection of those two other ones, right? So it's going to look like this. Okay, so basically it's going to come, bend, and then bend. So there's a two bendings here. Okay, notice this and this size is about the same. It's going to go through the center. This, it's a little bit below the axis here, a little bit above over there, right? So here you can see a little area, you can see a little area over there. So it bends inward, bends outward, and then goes through those points, right? So over here then we go continue this straight line. And we draw the image. Okay. So based on that, what is the image distance? Okay. So it's going to be uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 58, about 58.5. 58.5. The image distance, experimental, or we can say drawing, that's going to be positive 58.5, right? It's on this side. Positive 58.5. What is it? What is its height? Thirteen centimeters. The height of the image from the drawing. It's 13 centimeters, right? But it's inverted, so it's negative 13 centimeters. Negative 13 centimeters. So let's see if that coincides with the same that we get from the equation. 1 over DO plus 1 over DI is 1 over F. 1 over 30 plus 1 over DI. 1 over 20. <coughs> then you have 1 over DI is equal to 1 over 20 minus 1 over 30. This one goes over there. Then you have 30 minus 20. 30 minus 20, that's 10 over 600. 0, 0 cancel. Di is 60. OK, so pretty good. Pretty close to my picture, 58.5, right? Um, how about its magnification? OK, the magnification theoretical negative di over do, di is positive, right? And it's positive what? 60, do is 30, so negative 2. So based on that, the image should be inverted and twice the size of its original object, right? Well, if the original object was uh, 6 centimeter, the image should be 
um, double that, which is 12, right? HI over HO is 2, negative 2. So what you do is you say HI over HO is negative 2. O is uh, 6 centimeter. So HI is going to be what? Negative 2 times 6, negative 12 centimeter. Right? So from there you can see negative 12 drawing is negative 13. Very close. Okay? So again, if I had a lead pencil, I made my lines straight and everything, I could even get it closer, right? So um, HI in this case would be negative 12 and then H drawing negative 13. So from here, what, is the, uh, what are the properties of the uh, image? It's going to be inverted. It's going to be real image. Why real? Because the rays actually intersect there, right? Inverted, real, and uh, enlarged, right? Enlarged. Or we can also call it magnified image. It's bigger. Now, how can you see this image? Well, you, there are a couple ways. You could actually put your eye here, and you would see an enlarged image. So it would act like a magnifying lens, right? You just put your uh, converging lens on an object. It magnifies the image. What's the other way of seeing this image? The other way of seeing the image is putting some kind of screen there. You put a screen, and you see the reflection of that image, so it actually forms an inverted image right there. Okay? So, uh, in real images, you can actually put your eye there or see the reflection of that image from a screen, right? But virtual images, the only way to see them is actually put your eye there and the image will appear over on this side, okay? So, this is a good problem to illustrate some ray diagrammings and as well how to calculate all of these things, okay? Thank you very much.